hey hey live loving here family welcome back a welcome if you're a first time viewer all glory be to god please do not forget to hit the like share and subscribe button for your girly girl okay so um i'm just hopping on here my arm gonna get tired but i'm just hopping on here because um um i'm about to make uh this video um of me doing some hair and i just want to have some content to put with it um and it had me thinking because um me being me and again that's all i can do is be me you know some people will like it some people won't you know and that's fine but this is for the people that will like me and will understand who i am and um get to know me and go on this journey with me you know and maybe have been where i've been or maybe have you know gone through some things that i've gone through um and i'm trying to clean up pick up because uh i got a busy friday through saturday um and it's just grit time and that's one thing about me too i've been through a lot and like i said in some of my other past videos it's been a lot you know a bad stuff of me you know what i'm saying constantly um doing the same thing um maybe a different way but it's the same thing or somebody maybe a different person but the experience and the the characteristics of the person is the same but um and just put myself in positions to where I know I shouldn't be, you know what I'm saying, in my mind. And like I said, this is for me. All I can do is be me. And all I can do is try to change me and um, do what I feel is best for me in my life. You know, um, I like what I like. You know, I dislike what I dislike. Um, it's other channels on here that come through my timeline and other channels and stuff. And uh, I don't even think I'm going to say no names. Um, but it's other, um, content creators, um, that come across my timeline that, you know, I was with, but it's more of reaction stuff and, you know, just, um, in that, you know, and I'm not knocking you for that, if that's your niche, you know, uh, how you get your subs and your views or whatever because that's what people like you know what i'm saying that's what people like the, that type of stuff drama you know talking about people and that's cool you know but there's some people out there that's gonna like what i'm talking about too without having to do that and um i, I all i believe is if we're gonna talk about how we do each other and why you know because the, the key to the key to happiness the key to success it lies within you for whatever that is for you you know success is whatever it means for you if that means making money making going to work it means you know getting the car what you know whatever you know success is means to you but um the key to it all and happiness and is you the main denomination in the in the equation is you <laughs> you know and all, that's all you can do is be worried about you and and what's for you will be for you and what's not for you will, won't be for you you know but if you're in the mind of knowing who you are knowing what you like knowing what it is about you and you know what you believe um then that's all there is now i believe that there is a god you know and there's people out here like me that believe there is a god you know and believes in believes in the death burial and resurrection of jesus now you know what i'm saying um <clears throat> we're fighting against good and evil we're fighting against good and evil you know what i'm saying it's not no rich person poor person you know, because like I said, again, in one of the other videos, you can be, have all the money in the world and still be poor. You can still be poor in your mind, poor in your spirit, poor in your, your love. You can be poor in all these other things. Money is not just 
valuable, you know? And we have these things such as love and hate. That's why I'm telling you the war is against love and hate, good and evil. And that's why I believe in God. I believe in the Bible. I believe that it, there is a Jesus. I believe this, you know? So, and I'm not trying to push nothing on you. This is for the people that that's feeling me and, you know, walking with me. They've been there, done that. You know, this is for them. This is for you, you know? Um, <clears throat> and, um, put this gum out. But um, I believe that, and if we wanna, we always wanna go back to race. It ain't no, it ain't nothing to do with race. <laughs> it has nothing to do with race, you know. But just like I said, it has nothing to do with money, you know. Um, it's who you are, and. If you put an emphasis on this material stuff and thinking you, the bees, needs and the cats meow because of the material stuff, then you're sadly mistaken. And you, you know what I'm saying? You're probably unhappy most of the time. Even, you know, people can make stuff look real good. People can make stuff look real good. And like I was saying, I, you know, watch these videos. These videos come across my timeline and stuff. And I watch them, you know what I'm saying? I get a good, good giggle out of it. I, um, you know, learn a little bit, you know, because <clears throat> life is going to be full of adversity. It is. Um, so when, because we tend to, um, when stuff is going good and then something don't go our way or stuff go bad, you know, we tend to let that get to us when we don't need to because life is full of adversity, you know, regardless if it is death, what you going to do, you going to lay down and die with them, you know? Um, so you gonna lose money. You gonna you know mess up. You know stuff is going to happen. You know, but you can't let that get you down and be take, be all bitter and mad and taking it out on everybody else because that's what you chose or that's you know how the cards lay. You know what I'm saying? You just get up and you go back at it again. You know, so um, that's what I wanted to say. I I um if if I don't have to, you know, we can be friends, we can be cordial, you know what I'm saying, or we can be associates, you know, um, and we don't really have to, but, uh, you know, again, it's, it's love and it's love and it's a hate, why not love people, you know, why we gotta be hating on one another, it's enough to go around, you know, you're gonna need somebody to buy, sell, and trade to, you know. So it's enough to go around, then why not look out for each other? You know, regardless if you're white or black, that's how we can heal this land. Regardless if you're black or, or you white or whatever nationality, you know what's wrong and what's right. So why don't when you know what's right and you have a little bit of authority or you put in a place and see uh, that's again, you know what I'm saying? God will put you in a place to see to see what you're about and then you you go left with it and you know some do something off the wall or don't recognize when you getting blessed or don't recognize when you you know what I'm saying um around something that don't mean you no good or um <laughs> you know God will you know talk to you it'd be that little nudge inside of you to be like no nah, or yeah you know it'll be that little nudge inside of you and that's God. And sometimes it can be the devil, but um, only the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So if those things are partaking in there, you know that's the devil. And if you want to go to the devil, don't do nothing um, in the middle. You know, you can't straddle the fence. We can't straddle the fence out here. You know, and the stuff that we put emphasis on, it does not matter. It really does not matter. The stuff that we put emphasis on, it does not matter. Um, and I just wanted to say that we need to work together. We need not to be, you know what I'm saying, trying to divide it um, up, rich people, poor people. And if you, if everybody had the mind of working together, working together, everything would be okay. 
Like I said, who needs these big old houses if you ain't got that many people up in the house? Just to say you got the house. Who needs so many cars? Who needs so many clothes and all this jewelry just to say you got it? Because that's a low self-esteem. That's a low self-esteem. You're trying to make up for something because you want to be seen. You want to you be fly. You got to be the hardest person. You got to be the realest person. That some loud people. I cannot be around it. <laughs> I cannot be around it. You loud and stuff like that. Some, you know, some. You can kind of tell <laughs> when some people is just. Uh -uh. And then that's just some people's personalities, you know. I guess that's what I was trying to say. And that's just some people's personalities when they laugh and stuff. Because I laugh loud and stuff too like that sometimes. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I just wanted to say that we need to work together. And you can't be, um, <laughs> something else too. You can't be, uh, wanting to get up and do something or have something and, you said he going around people that don't have nothing or trying to get something or doing something different than your norm of being and not having nothing. And the thing is that's so hard about it. And this is my change, but this is why I'm glad God is working on me. And I'm sharing this with y'all. And I'm hoping that this can help somebody and inspire somebody and entertain y'all a little bit, you know. <laughs> Um, besides the normal booty shaking, um, you know, <laughs> all this stuff that's on the TV. You know, we need to be, you know, and the biggest blessing a person can have if you're a parent, excuse me, is a child. Is your child. That's the biz biggest blessing that you can have is that child because that child is innocent and that's genuine love. And we need to make time and stop making it about us once you have a child. You know what I'm saying? If you're blessed to have a child. Some men out here is um, barren and some women out here is barren, you know? But if you're blessed to have a child, that's the purest blessing that you can have. Right in front of your eyes. That came from your loin that came from her womb. You hear me? That is the biggest blessing because that is life that y'all created, the seed, and the, the seed and the egg. That is life that y'all done created. And who else would have created something like that but if it wasn't for God? You know? So, you got to put aside you you and you want to kick it or you want to get away because that's the biggest, that's the purest, most unconditional love you can have. And the Bible says, teach a child in the way it should go. So you got to be in the mindset of healthiness and uh, a healthy environment and that peace and joy. And so that way you can reciprocate that to that child that's innocent and pure. A baby can tell you something. A baby can teach you something. You know? Um, and that's kind of all of what I wanted to say. And like I said, I have to have some content to put on here i want y'all to get to know me i want y'all to like i said go on this journey with me because i got some stuff planned for it. it's just gonna take some time and i'm gonna let god do his thing because he is working on me he is working on this thing you hear me and i'm um like i said in one of my other uh, videos um i'm alone but it's a good thing and you and god will heal you time will heal you because you'll become thankful for the peace that you have of being alone. You'll become thankful of the lessons um, of that pain. You'll become thankful of that pain that you went through with anything, with family, with your spouse, with um, death. You become peaceful with that thing, you know, but you got to want it. You got to want it. You can't be just sitting around and expecting stuff to happen to you. You got to work for it. <clears throat> you can't be expecting God to bless you when you ain't did nothing. Even if that is blessing somebody else. And that's where you get your biggest blessings when you're blessing somebody else. That's when you get your biggest blessings. I promise you, y'all. When you let go of this flesh. <laughs> when you start to let go of the flesh and the things that we normally trip about. The things that we normally get impatient about. The things that we normally hurt about. Because sometimes it be misunderstandings. 
sometimes it be misunderstandings that have people all messed up with each other. Sometimes it be people being selfish. Sometimes it be people, you know what I'm saying, just used to a certain lifestyle. But you got to want to be the one to change that. But let me get to work, y'all. I got to clean up. <laughs> got to straighten up. Like I said, I got a busy day. Get busy a couple of days. Um, work plus doing hair. The job, that's what I wanted to tell y'all too, y'all. <laughs> so the job is good and see God. <laughs> so that's what I want to tell y'all too. God is so good. Like if we sit back and stop and let God bless us y'all cuz I this is me this is me y'all this is me little old me you know what I'm saying it's not much but it's enough you know what I'm saying it's for me I'm good I'm pleased I'm happy with this I'm happy with this <laughs> you know what I'm saying But God is so good. If we let him do the work in us and take his time because he knows best. And like I said, y'all, I have started at 725. Now I'm up there past the last job. However much I was making that last job. Um, we up there now. <laughs> you know, and I got to put in the work because like I said, I want to do this. Um, I want to do that. I want to do my channel. I'm trying to get my business up and running and I got to pipe down. And now it's not all about that, but this is what we're here for. We're here to be fruitful and multiply, you know? And it ain't about, the thing is to be humble and God will humble you down. That's the reason why he'll, um, just like Job, he'll, you know, he'll see how humble you are and how much you love him versus the blessings, versus the blessings and still give all the glory because all the glory belongs to him. That's why I keep saying that. You know, um, but the job is going good, y'all. He set me up the last, I told y'all the last job I did, um, with, um, Live Ops doing the third party stuff. They hooked me up getting that knowledge. You hear me? And now I said, um, I'm about to do, um, this job here and I'm going to get that knowledge and I'm going to really pipe down and get that knowledge. The business side, the little tech side, um, you know, how they do that little system. You know, that way I can know how to market, <laughs> you know, and get paid. And I'm going to keep doing my videos. I'm going to keep being a mama, you know, um, and really pipe down on that. I'm about to schedule out my day, you know, work out, eat healthy, eat better. You know, like I said, stop that drinking, smoking. You know, it's for the birds. Stop doing my temple like that. You know, I did I did it long enough. <laughs> you know, I've given that over my body long enough. And it's time now, you know, for change. And like I said, I can't be half-stepping. Trying to stay in the middle and sway and stuff like that. This is me, baby. This is me. It's me, baby. <laughs> But y'all, I love y'all. Y'all stay up, you know. Um, don't fret, don't worry. You doing good. If you alive, you you got one up. You hear me? <laughs> if you're alive, you got one up <laughs> on somebody, you know. And you got another day to make a difference in your life. It don't matter about nobody else's life. Your life. You know, because that's who's going to be judged at the end of all of this. And if you don't believe that, oh, well, you just don't believe that, you know, in the heaven or hell. Maybe you just need to make sure you got you. Make sure you got you in, in the end. If Even if you don't believe in the heaven and the hell and it's a God and all of that. You know, that you're going to be judged, whatever. So what? <laughs> still do you. All you can do is worry about you and take control over you. You can't be letting people have power over you. You only you choose to go around who you go around. You only you choose to talk to who you talk to. Unless it's in your family and then you keep your peace until you can do better. You know? But everything has a lesson in it. Everything has a lesson in it. Like I said, I'm thankful. God is so good. Um, 
And y'all, I love y'all again. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button for your girl. Let me take care of my business and stop procrastinating. <laughs> and mwah, 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 mwah. I'll see y'all later. Bye.